Hello, hello everybody, it's your Prof Chuff, and we're back again with a new tier zoo video. Our mongooses OP mongoose mong mong mongas? I don't know. Let's see. I don't think they are, aren't they pathetic? And there's a lot of them. Don't they get snatched up a lot? Cats and dogs are both some of the most overpowered yes. builds in the entire game. They're also cute as hell. In order to reach that level of success, their player bases needed to try out a ton of different strategies. Both Caniforms and Filiforms have a powerful Filiform. solitary tank buster on their roster. They both tank have mid-sized scavengers on their roster. Wait, bears are connected to dogs? And perhaps most interestingly, both developed slender generalist builds with well, an emphasis on similar. digging and brash intimidation. And On cute. the caniform side, we have oh the Oh my god, okay, okay, that thing is adorable. Can I have it? Can I have it? Look at Builds it. Builds like weasels, ferrets, and honey badgers. And I want a weasel. And on the weasel. side, we have and the a honey badger. Despite being a close relative of cats and sharing a lot of abilities with them, they also have <laughs> oh, a lot of unique... Despite being abilities. a close relative of cats and sharing... Front-facing claws. You have back-facing claws? Warm-blooded, intimidation, slender body, oblong pupils. Predatory carnivores. Bring a lot of abilities with them. They also have a lot of unique traits that set them apart. Mob mentality, horizontal pupils, venom immunity, natural intelligence, flexible form, unlikely allies. What does unlikely allies mean? From every other predator to lock in. in. So, are they actually better than their Ooh. more traditional oh. feline counterparts? Oh, it's, or it's doing a death row of the alligators. Are their special abilities just and gimmicky? That, I didn't know that worked Today, on land. We'll discuss. Ew. Oh, I need to lower. We'll begin as always oh, with a look at the mongoose's base stats. What? Why Starting off with the mongoose's intelligence. Mongooses have an intelligence similar to that of a rat, which is to say a they're rat? quite clever. Mongooses oh my are generalists and need to be able to think on their. What is that bird, brother? What is that thing? It was dangerous. So. In a variety of situations in order to succeed, but their best usage of intelligence is in coordinated <laughs> team tactics. Yoinks. Team tactics are a rarity in the Filiform faction of the mammal player base. Is that an African dog? But among the small pool of social Filiforms, you need Aww. hard press to find a more tactical bunch. Alpha formation. The most obvious example is the meerkat. Hey, listen, I know there's a lot of you motherfuckers. I would still not try and fight the honey badger. Honey badger don't give a fuck. Which is a type of mongoose that specializes specifically in being extra well adapted Wait. to work together. Isn't this thing from Lion King? But most mongooses are, at the very least, gregarious, and because gregarious. mongooses are much more vulnerable than builds like the lion or wolf, they need to work together both in order to succeed in hunting Ew. and to watch each other's backs and protect each other. Their power set is pretty mid for a carnivorous mammal, to be honest. Unlike most members of the Filiform faction, Filiform. mongooses do not have retractable claws. They use their claws primarily for digging. Which worked quite well, but of course, inevitably dulls their claws and makes them less useful ah, for healing damage. Makes sense. As a result, mongooses have to rely solely on their own 75 HP. Damage, which is unfortunately nothing special. Ooh. Still, it's enough to get the job done against low HP targets. Damn. Which is really all you need as a mid sized social. Bro, there's so many it of them. It just means that they can't really threaten an attacking player and need to cede territory whenever pressured. <laughs> it slapped him on the head. Now, due to the mongoose's slender shape, you might assume that, similar to honey badgers, stoats, and ferrets, the mongoose sports thick, loose skin that allows it to take reduced damage and avoid critical hits. Unfortunately, it mongooses do, do not have this perk, oh, and need shit. to play a much less reckless game than honey badgers in the face of danger. Yeah, that's what makes the honey badger OP, loose skin. This lack of thick, loose skin also makes them less resistant to cold damage, ah. forcing them to stick to servers where ice damage is a lot of hearts you got, brother. One unique defensive trait they do have, however, is total resistance to venom. Total? Their blood neutralizes most toxins. How does that work? Rendering them almost completely harmless towards the mongoose. This is the main reason their matchup against snakes and... Wait, how they do that shit, brother? Can we do that shit? Can we yoink that superpower? That was really so useful. Impressive. Damn. The mongoose's mobility stat is also fairly mid for a filiform. <laughs> so While many of them. quite nimble and agile, its Ooh. actual run speed is below average for a mammal. Uh. Even discounting the cheetah as an outlier, most cats have a movement speed that is well above average. Damn. And are excellent. How's cats have 30 miles per hour movement speed? What's that in kilometers? That's like 45 kilometers? Bro, what? Climbers. The mongoose can God, still damn. move much quicker than any With those little legs? Counter. 
but compared to mammalian predators it might face, it is a bit slow. Its slender body and shorter legs do not offer any benefits for speed. Instead, this shape allows mongoose hey, to remain low to the ground, taking advantage of cover more easily and also enabling it to access the tight spaces and burrows that its main threats cannot follow them into. Mm. Other than their short stature, mongooses don't really have any major stealth-based abilities that they use, <laughs> so their stealth stat is only average uh, as well. Yeah. Perception-wise, the mongoose is truly one of the most unique builds in the game. If you watched my last video, you'll Cockets. remember that I yep. spoke at length how important the house cat's snake-like vertical slit mm. pupil is for ensuring high accuracy on its attacks, which Damn. enables the cat to parry and counterattack incredibly effectively. Let's go! Even if they <laughs> don't have vertical he did a wall attack, brother. He did a wall attack. Slit pupils. Most predators will at least have <laughs> circular pupils that will allow for optimal forward by hey, we got those. vision. Mongooses have horizontal pupils. Wait, horizontal that's like pupils do yeah, that's like sheep that allows you to scan for predators. Do not enhance depth perception and attack accuracy. Instead, the purpose of a horizontal pupil is to broaden the player's field of view, yeah. making it easier to detect incoming attacks from the side or from behind. In addition to this unconventional eye structure, well, they're adorable. mongooses also have an excellent sense of smell and hearing. So how well do these stats and abilities synergize with each other? Honestly, it's a pretty mixed bag. Oh. Because the mongoose's stats are generally a bit on the low side, they're not able to outrun <laughs> or repel attackers. Instead, they have to rely on their digging ability for safety. I... This greatly limits the potential territory they can explore, as if they get too far from their burrows, Mom, it's I need you all they'll be able to escape an ambush. It also means that any player with the ability to pursue them into their burrow completely negates the blood was dripping. Hates their main God line. Damn. Face. The mongoose's eyesight is truly a confounding. Yo, that mongoose is low man fat. Fairly standard mesopredator game plan. Now, credit where it's due, the horizontal pupils do offer some extra benefits that do synergize they? well with the mongoose's game plan. They offer a slight perception bonus in bright sunlight conditions compared bright to vertical sunlight. or round pupils. Because mongooses are diurnal. In direct sunlight, the tan dirt of the African savanna could impede their vision if they didn't have a way to mitigate it. But ah. ultimately, plenty of savanna builds make do without this, so I have to assume the real purpose of this ability is the expanded field of view, which primarily aids in avoiding ambushes. This reflects a higher than normal <laughs> vulnerability to attacks from predators, which I consider the mark of a less than excellent build if I were to stop things here. <laughs> Average souls boss. You have to fight 15 of them. But I do think this does have one more important synergy for the mongoose's playstyle. Which is? The expanded field of view allows the mongoose to more easily keep track of where its teammates are, ah, improving its ability team to combat. coordinate with the movements of other mongooses. This is reflected in its exceptional unity what and game is this? at which the mongoose teams function. While plenty of other builds engage in team strategies, mongooses are unique in how tight a formation they're able to hold. Bro, to. look at all of them! This is surprisingly useful for intimidation, <laughs> as when oh, a mongoose God. band moves in such tight formation, they appear as just one mass, <laughs> which can easily confuse and startle large predators long enough to make an escape. Common cheat so, out. how does the mongoose fare in its most important matchups? By the way, this video is telling me one thing. I kind of want a mongoose. That thing looks cute as hell. Deciding which matchups to include was difficult, given how widespread the mongoose. Hey, we have some in is. Europe. But I'll keep things broad enough that it should be applicable to mongoose. Most of them are in Africa. Mongooses famously have an overwhelmingly positive matchup against snakes due to their venom immunity. This is more important than it first seems. Obviously, it's good to be able to score easy kills and feed the troop. Yeah. But snakes are also normally the biggest threat to burrowing builds. Ah, oh, true. They can easily slither into tight spaces and they burrow. And Burrowing builds yeah, that don't immunity, like prairie dogs, <laughs> have huge difficulty dealing with snakes. Whoa. So being able to turn this vulnerability into a strength plays hugely in the mongoose's favor. Bro, that must suck for snakes. You bite this motherfucker, you have like the venom to kill 13 elephants, and he's like, hey, 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 hey brother, dinner, trying to eat? Against larger predators, mongooses do struggle. Yeah, They're the I mean, main reason they need to remain close enough to their burrows and party members as without them to aid in escaping attacks, they cannot defend themselves. Oh, so against big cats, dogs, hyenas, and the like, the mongoose player needs to it take advantage of all base. of its outs and work with its teammates to avoid disaster. Skilled players can hold their own in this matchup, but mistakes will be punished hard. Warthogs Oof, unwinnable. are one of the most surprising encounters a mongoose eh. can have. Rather than it is Lion King. being adversarial, Warthog and Mongoose players often form temporary alliances. Why? That's the adorable. The Mongoose team will cleanse the Warthog player oh. of all parasite debuffs. And in return, well, the Warthog won't really deliberately... It's like the sharks and those little fish, and it's like... 
Wait, what else did it? I think elephants do with something. Do anything to help out a mongoose? But simply by tolerating them in close proximity, the warthog is protecting them. Because they're extremely they dangerous Mr. and Pig. normally very territorial, Ooh. mongooses are much safer Why is the lion than not doing anything? nearby and can venture further from their burrows so long as they Akuna remain Matata. within the line of sight of the warthog. The birds of prey are one of the most dangerous matchups for mongooses. Yeah. Because their perception I've seen some videos of these. extremely high, they will often target you before no, you spot them, real hard. leaving very little time to prepare defense or escape. What is... Yo, oh, the coloring on that bird is... Dope as hell. Because their power stat tends to be a bit lower, often there is a bit of time between the initial strike and the actual kill. The yeah, homies can't help. Team can rally quick enough, yeah. They may actually be able to save you from an attack. Gang, gang, so once bitch. Again, while technically quite a difficult matchup, <laughs> skilled players with reliable teammates should be Skill able to hold their players. own. Drawing comparisons to similarly sized solo builds like the weasel and ferret, their matchup against an avian attacker is a lot more hopeless. Mm. This is essentially the story of the mongoose. Overall, it has an unimpressive set of stats and abilities, but Good because the abilities it does have are primarily focused on enabling Yo, that snake is fucked. a troop of skilled mongoose mains can often be far more successful than you would expect from such an underwhelming build. Oh my Overall, God. I'm gonna have to give the mongoose a mid tier Bro, look rating. at them. It has no severe flaws holding- well, That's pretty good, I thought I'd give them a C at least. Holding it back, Damn, but imagine nice. how overpowered a kind of mongoose player would be if it actually had any busted abilities. Wait, why they fight like each other? with the mongoose, when a group of individuals functions as one unified, cohesive team, Ed? it can look pretty impressive. Aww, it can be a then the God damn it. Anyway, that's the mongoose. Are they OP? Not really. They're more mid, but they're cute. I want one, kind of. It's probably not going to be able to get one because they look like they're social creatures. And that usually is bad to take them away from other of their kind because they get sad and shit. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. Let me know which mongoose are your favorite. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye, everybody.